Hello, and welcome to episode 3 of Reclaiming Rome. It's been a little bit since I've played this game, but I'm very excited to get back into it. Um, Duchy of Ancona is growing very slowly, but as you can see in the bottom right, we have lots of wars going on. One of them, as you saw in the previous episode, was disastrous the crusade. We do not have much of a chance there. If you slide over here, you can see that we have like no men over there because our armies have basically been destroyed. Um, if you click in, you can see that though we should be winning, you don't get the actual war, we are pretty destroyed. Our levies are almost gone and they are pretty much maxed out. So the crusade for the King of Jerusalem is going to fail, almost certainly. The second war that's of note is the West Francian claim on the Kingdom of Italy, which is not something I'm really enjoying, honestly, because I was trying to gain my independence. And that's pretty much not going to happen now, because West Francia is going to take the Kingdom of Italy. Most likely. Obviously, we have a chance to fight them off, but it's going to require some some clever movement from King Louis the Younger and King Lothar because they kind of can get driven in half by East Francia going either north or south. So that could be a very difficult war for them, but not really my problem. I'm just going to work on other claims. And the last one is an independence war, actually. Mantua wants to be independent, and they're probably going to lose. As you can see, King Lothar is taking the very small amount of territory that there is. So, those three wars are happening. But what we're going to be doing in this episode is taking more land. Um, you can see that the Sawanids are fighting right now, as a matter of fact. And we're going to fight them. We're also probably going to fight Benevento. As you can see, they're doing a holy war, actually, against Camarda, who's allied. So this is going to be interesting to sit around and watch. She actually can't siege this down, I don't think, because I have control of this. And the reason I'm occupying Camarda is because they're actually in the crusade. I captured that many years ago. Um, so this is a weird war that Benevento is probably not going to win. But... What will be happening is I'll be continuing to expand. And you can see that the reason that part of this is the Holy War is that the papacy lost Tivoli to the Solonids, or Saldanids, Sol the Saldanids, um, which obviously they're not happy about. That's not my problem. So, kind of going to be just looking for chances to continue to expand my empire in this episode and really get back in because it's been a few days since I've played. Um, and while well, I'm at it, obviously my guy's melancholic now, which is not good, but he should be progressing pretty well in his scholarship focus. Um, scholarly circles is going to be very nice. That's going to give me, um, what, I'm like what, level two? I don't even know what level I'm at. I think that's level two. Dutiful. The first level, so I'm only to get two learning from that. Um, the other choice is apostate, um, which I'll probably do after that, because I'll, I'll at least get free stat points for doing learning. So. Um, I can create the Duchy of Romania. I have a county control on Ancona, which I'm fixing, and I can declare wars. I'm not going to fight him. I may fight him. I may fight him. I'm not going to fight Tuscany yet, though I may. It's kind of going to be a waiting game where we wait and see um, what exactly is a good decision and like try to really avoid stepping in mud in a sense, right? Let's not get in fights that don't make sense. So that's really the main goal. So this one I'm going to keep consulting with priests. One really cool thing about the learning lifestyle tree is that you get a really cool events that can help you a lot if you're if you play it right. You can make a lot of money. Hey. There you go, Dragana. We, we we finished our seduction. 
I seduced my wife because I want more kids. Even though I have a bunch of kids. Actually, I have four. And my oldest is Jesus, by the way. That's kind of funny. Um, he's a really good marshal and really good stewardship. He's doing diplomacy. I think... I think... Yeah, Jesus is going to still be my ruler, but I'll, I'll, it'll be very interesting to see what happens. Okay, I'm just going to keep watching these wars. I got 100% on that independence war. My wife's prego. No sheriff's appointed. Is it free? No. Louis the Younger most definitely won that war. Um, so now it's going to be a fight there. My tents are constructed. Really, these three are going to be the three I'm going to continue to keep very tightly because that duchy is very important to me. We're going to keep watching. This should end soon. They should get ticking war score. Um, the only reason I'm not trying to do any more is because I don't have any ability to do so. I may lose this duchy, by the way. It's a barony and a barony. That's the reason. I, I haven't actually made the... I did make... The Duchy of Capua. Okay. So. Okay. I got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. So I'm probably going to lose these two when I die. Because I'm going to be the oldest and my brother's going to get those. So. Definitely not going to really push for those two very hard because I'm going to take them back immediately. My sister got captured. This is interesting. You have a claim in the county of Sawbrooken, but it doesn't really affect me any. He owns that. How about Mantua? Could I go for Mantua? I like Savoy, Provence, and Parma. It doesn't really make sense to die with him. Impatient, shy, or gluttonous. I would rather do impatient, I think. I know impatient kind of sucks, but... Yeah. Minus two learning more prestige was shy. Man, I, I don't like that one. That one's shy's bad and gluttonous is chucky too, unfortunately. Yeah, you see you lose the stewardship, but really it's it's the sinful. It really screws you over. Getting too many sinful ones really if you're a Catholic, it's just not good for you. You just automatically run into issues that you wouldn't normally run into by being sinful, so I guess the decision now is who do I invade? Because I do want to invade more. So it's like, do I go after Adalberto because he's chilling? Um, a good Catholic name. A good Ita let's go. Let's go Italian. He's good. they wouldn't name him Luke. They wouldn't name him like Luca or something like that. But they would name him Luke. Like what? No. Um, let's look and see how strong is he. He's inferior to us. But he's allied to Provence. How strong is Provence? Provence is very weak. Um, what? So I'm trying to marry my wife or kill my wife? What the heck? Looks like they're gonna lose that. Um, Benevento is kind of who I want to go, who I wanted to go for. But now he's got Balaton as as an ally, and Balaton is kind of strong. So let's not. Invade him. I mean, I could go for Benevento and crush him real quick, but I don't think that's a good idea. I still think the obvious choice is Mantua. Even though his capital's across the river, which would suck. Um, what's my... What are you doing? I want you to fabricate claims, because... I'm trying to take... I'm trying to take land here, my dudes. I think Siena gets four, Arezzo gets two. Yeah, Siena would be the one to go for. So let's let's go for Siena. I'm st I'm kind of stuck right now because what I really wanted to do was go for him, but I'm already technically at war with him because of the Crusade. And Benevento's gonna win that. So, oh, the Byzantines are here? What are they, what are they doing? 
What's Byzantium doing? What are you doing? Who are you fighting? Oh. Oh. Yeah, they're going to get that. Byzantines, Byzantines are scary. They really are. A very precarious position here where I would definitely... King Louis is being attacked by Ben Domagosh. Okay. Why? Is he that bad right now? No, he's... Who are your allies? Oh, you're allied to Bavaria. That's why. You're jumping on the bandwagon here. How strong is Dalmatia? Lanciano. Where's Lanciano? Where are you at? You know, I have to account. I'm not scared of account. I settle my accounts. <laughs> that was a bad joke. Um, anyways, this is a very interesting time here because there's just a lot of things happening that I don't really have a lot of control over, and I can't really fight, fight any of these fights because of some of the... Uh, The wars are happening, but that guy's gonna die soon. When so when Adelkis dies, because I'm only I'm 31, but I'm melancholy. Um, but Adelkis is 61, so when he dies, he's in big trouble. And I have I have a claim on Lanciano already, so I'm gonna take that and then continue to claim them down. So that's really kind of the plan. And we're gonna play the waiting game, wait for this crusade to mercifully end. Patient, generous, diligent. I think patient is good I, I, I like patient i think diligence also really good but you get stress you get a lot of stress when you do that oh i can get a guardian for gigadeshi um uh, some of all skills um bona yeah here you go bona i don't care about you all right adelkis you need to die you're uh what's your health Poor. He's ailing. So he should die at any minute. 61 and poor. His wife's in jail. That to me sounds like a... Uh... What? Bono, we're going to get this guy. Study the bodies, Bono. You're my court physician. We're definitely not boning. So, um, you figure something out. Alright, alright, cool. Countess Anna of Nien, House Nien. She's a Croatian Catholic. Aw, she's only 13. That's gonna be rough. Adelkis, you need to die, bud. I'm ready, I'm ready to uh, take your land. Where's Adelkis? Where's his men at? 100%. We lost the crusade. Big sad. We lost, so I gained nothing. All right. Um... Are they at war anymore? Yeah, they're a bunch of wars. But can I go to war with him? Can I? Damn, I don't have, I don't have a CV. He's my prisoner? Wait, he's my prisoner? Oh, he's not going to exist anymore, so it doesn't matter. Because the Sicilians are going to kill him. Yay! I got my soulmate. Go, f good job. 
Oh, Count Six's bird. Thanks, bud. Good job, Lambert and Dragana. You're soulmates. That's cute. Are you dead yet? Damn it, you're not dead yet. By the way, I have the Byzantines beside me now, so I'm terrified. Sorry, bud. Gotta be a little nicer. Ta! You dead yet? You dead yet? I don't have any actual uh, way to fight you. That's my brother-in-law. That's my half-sister. We related? No, he's not. Okay. Pope Victor, how's it feel to suck? <laughs> Farewell, my vassal. Maybe West Francian in a minute. That's gonna be weird. Also, the Byzantines need to stop being so strong. <laughs> it's kind of scary trying when you see them show up. Why is Kamarda not getting totally destroyed? It's because no one's actually fighting for fighting Kamarda. Five months left until I get a claim on Sienna. I will actually go for that later. It's not right now. As soon as this dude dies, I feel like I'm gonna... It's like trying to decide which war I wanna do. Let's go up to normal. It's always tough figuring out like what step to take. Because even when you have plans, sometimes things get in the way. Like crusades, like alliances from people around you that always makes it a little difficult to figure out like how you're gonna react um i mean you could even try to go for like freely but see they're t they're allied to wessex right so it's like giving my son my son gets all this these bonuses for me because pedagogy pedagogy is awesome massive boost Beautiful. 62. This is done in five months, so I get that in five months. I think while we're kind of waiting here, I may actually speed it up a little. Go to four for now. Um, you're figuring that out. Why is that guy so bad? Let's pause for a second. Why do you suck at this? Why does it take 14 years? Fourteen years to get county control? It feels like a lot. I'll have to I'm getting that claim in a second, yeah. Oh. He got excommunicated. Let me do that. Give me some more warning. Uh oh. Oh boy. Well ha! <laughs> We're now part of West Francia. Well, now it's going to get difficult. Yep, I'm well aware of that. Faction. 
Well, Denzians. Terrain exists. Is that the kingdom of Terrain is just a county? It's crazy. Mm -hmm. He immediately creates a faction. See, I would have just killed him. Honestly. He dead yet? His wife's dead. I just don't want him to have Valaton as a as an ally. Basically. Then I can fight. I can fight him if Valentine's not there. He's strong. All my neighbors are getting quite, quite thick. Getting kind of thick. I don't want either one of those guys to get the Italian throne, but I'd rather... See, but like, so that's where the duchy is. I would literally would siege that down before he gets there. Because he's like over here somewhere. Vecchio? I'm not exactly sure where Vecchio is, but it's somewhere over here. Where are you at, dude? Dude, this someone killed my wife. Somebody killed my wife. Yuck. Arbitrary is the best one. Um, my wife just died. That sucks. It really does, because she was a pretty good wife. Um, inheritable traits. Let's look for someone who's really smart. Oda's intelligent. Elise is intelligent. Do I have any geniuses? There's a genius. She's 39. 41. 41. Kind of old, 43. I mean, there's kind of a point. Her name's Violent. That's scary. <laughs> Your name is Violent? I'm, I'm, I'm afraid. I'm now scared of you. I don't even know you, but I'm scared of you. Um, I think the Intelligent Girl is probably the best one. Please. Yeah. Um. Who's my... It's because it's cause this guy's... Swade's guy. Send him a gift, actually. Here's... Yeah, 20. Here you go. Stop trying to hurt me. Okay. Um, you dead yet? Nope. Why'd they kill my wife? She was such a nice lady. Damn, my sister died. Maybe, like, have a feast or something to chill out, you know? Let's call Hunt. Because I lose stress when I do that. I'm stressed! I'm injured. Nice. I got wounded. Great. <laughs> My luck sucks. I'll always beat Domagage because, well, he's an idiot.
What can I even do right now? I'm just waiting on Benevento to die. Really? I don't have much else I can do. Augusto. There you go. Hey, I'm a chancellor. It gives me extra pot, uh, prestige. I like that. Not feeling well. He should be dead very soon. So this hasn't been the best, you know? <laughs> hasn't been a lot going on this episode because I haven't been able to do much because all the wars have kind of... Look at that, man. I mean, West Francia is huge. Naturally. Naturally, there are multiple... Well, actually. He has eight kids, and it's actually all girls. And then Louis the Stammerer, who's 41. Charles Bald's been on forever. Um, but... The biggest thing is that they should, this should get split. I mean, they're not going to keep both King of West Francia and the Kingdom of Italy unless he dissolved the Kingdom of Italy. He didn't. So, he's got three kingdoms. They should all split. No. Look at that. See that? The Stammer is going to get all three. So, either we're going to have a war um, where people try to rebel against Louis the Stammerer or it, we continue to sit under West Francia for an extended period of time. I hope not, because it makes it a little more difficult to reclaim Rome when you can't even be a kingdom-level ruler. And the Byzantines are getting ever closer. So it's kind of a two-way street here because I'm very tempted in the sense that being part of West Francia gives me a buffer against the Byzantines, me personally. However to reclaim Rome, I'm going to have to beat the Byzantines anyway. And I don't want to do it under someone else's rule. So, that's a tough thing to think about. And I just realized that Dubrovnik is is now here. Um, which is weird. He's allied to Dalmatia. Pretty sure I could just sit there and not be worried. Because this guy can't do anything. Uh, actually, I think I'm going to go to war here. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to war next episode. We're going to take um, Lankiana, which we already have. Um, we already have a claim on Lan Lanciano. And then after that, we're probably going to go after Benevento. Actually, yeah, we're going to have to get another claim on Benevento because the reason that that is actually part of Dubrovnik now is because simply the king died. So... I'm going to go for this. All right. Should take 16 months. So, not the most exciting episode. Kind of getting back into it. Seeing how the war has turned out. Interesting outcome here with the Saldanids still being here. I'm very surprised by that. I thought the Byzantines would have taken all of it. Um, and, well, now we're part of West Francia. So, well, gosh, it's going to be rough. So, a lot to think about going to the next episode. This has been The Shade One. This is Reclaiming Rome, Episode 3. Thank you for your time. I'll see you later.